It's quiet here, isn't it, Professor? That reminds me. Do you know the legend associated with the Goddess Tower? Is that right? You don't strike me as the sort to enjoy stories like that. They say that wishes made in this tower will come true. I wonder who came up with such a silly notion. Legends are legends, nothing more. I doubt there are many who really believe that wishes can be granted. The goddess just watches over us from above, that is all. No matter how hard someone begs to be saved, she would never so much as offer her hand. And even if she did, we lack the means to reach out and grasp it. That's how I feel about her. In any case, I suppose there's no harm in passing the time with silly legends. What do you say, Professor? Care to make a wish? We are here on the night of the ball. Why don't you try wishing for something? A wish of my own. I suppose my wish is for a world in which no one would ever be unjustly taken from us. Or something along those lines. Thank you, Professor. Although, at a time like this, perhaps it would make more sense for me to wish that we'll be together forever. What do you think? <laughs> well now, Professor, you must admit I've approved in the art of joke-telling. I'm sorry. I guess that was rather thoughtless of me. Honestly, I do regret saying such a thing. Please, think nothing of it. I've blurted out irresponsible things like that to my classmates. Promises that we'll see each other again and the like. I have no business making such promises for the future. There are certain things that I must accomplish, even if it means risking my life. I may not even have a future to promise to someone. We should head back soon. It's rude of me to keep you all to myself. Shall we, Professor? Oh, hey, Teach. What brings you to the Goddess Tower? You know what? Never mind. The answer is as clear as day. You couldn't bear the ball anymore and simply had to escape. There's nothing wrong with admitting you're not comfortable in a noisy crowd. Really, I get it. I'm the same way. Huh. See right through me, do you? But I really do mean it. Parties aren't for me. Music and fun are all well and good, but those dances the nobles do are something else. I was never really taught to do that sort of thing. My upbringing was lacking in certain ways. Even so, I may have secured a fancy new title, but who I am on the inside? Well, status alone can't change that. That's a bit of an aside, though. Say, Teach, have you heard the legends about this tower? They say if a man and a woman pray for the same thing here on this night, the goddess will grant their wish without fail. Who knows? Maybe it has something to do with celebrating the anniversary of the monastery's completion. Maybe the goddess comes down from above on this night and this night alone to celebrate with us. Even goddesses like to party, right? The truth is that it's just a legend the students here like to tell. It's not based on any real facts. But I suppose it would be a waste to pass up a chance of having our wish granted. What do you say, Teach? Care to try? Hmm, let's see. How about we pray for our ambitions to come true? You don't exactly seem like the selfish type, but even you must have an ambition or two. That's what I thought. It's the same for everyone. No one is ever completely satisfied. Everyone has something they long for. Otherwise, what's the point of it all? Of course, same goes for me. Without even realizing it, I found myself holding tight to some pretty big ambitions. If you would, I would love for you to share in those ambitions with me, Teach. But all that aside, let's get started. 
Let's pray to the goddess before she tuckers out for the evening. Okay, here goes. <clears throat> oh, divine goddess, hear our prayers. We beseech you and your radiance. Please grant us that which we seek. Huh. I think that should do it. The goddess will make our dreams come true now, yeah? At any rate, we've done all we can. Whether we actually believe our dreams will come true or not is up to us. I suppose we should head back soon. I'm sure everyone is looking for you. Just promise to spare a dance for me, okay, Teach? I swear, so long as it's not one of those goofy noble dances, I am a treasure on the dance floor. Hello, Professor. I just needed a quick break from the festivities. Fancy running into you here. I beg your pardon? Absolutely not. It is simply a coincidence. The heir to the great house of Ire? Chasing after a woman in the dead of night? <laughs> the very thought of it! Anyway, seeing you here, I cannot help but recall the legend of the Goddess Tower. It is said that when a man and a woman meet here by chance on the night of the ball, their paths become one. The Goddess blesses them and ensures a harmonious union. Uh, oh, you heard the legend too? How was it different? That the Goddess is sure to grant any promises made here? Ah, perhaps that is how it goes, come to think of it. <sighs> how long have we known each other now? About nine months, by my count. The passage of time is swift indeed. Listen, I need to tell you something. After I graduate, I must pass stern judgment on my father. His greed got the better of him. He has strayed far from the righteous path. As the next Duke Iyer, I will succeed him as Prime Minister, and it will fall to me to hold him accountable. Only then can I justly guide the Empire's subjects and work to create a better world. That is my dream, my will, and my future. I pray that I will have the courage to fulfill my solemn duty, and that I will have your support. Thank you. Knowing that you are on my side, I feel unstoppable. Well, shall we head back? Plenty of people must be wondering where you went. Specifically the legions of men who would like to dance with you. <laughs> to be honest, I count myself among them. Here for a tryst, Professor? I won't interfere. I shall take my leave at once. Farewell. You have arranged to meet someone here at the Goddess Tower, have you not? I see. Apologies for the misunderstanding. Then I take it you are unfamiliar with the rumors about this place? There is an old legend that says promises made between lovers here are sure to be fulfilled. <laughs> if you believe in that sort of thing. I would have expected you to be familiar with the story already, considering how popular you are. I was certain that someone had asked you here. On the contrary, I suspect those who wished to ask were simply too daunted to try. But thanks to their cowardice, I am gifted with this opportunity to speak with you. It's clear you have never felt at ease around me, as a result of how little trust there is between us. I should get back to the ball regardless. I imagine there would be quite a scene if you turned out to be lying. Trust is not in my nature. Good night. Oh, look who it is. No, I just wanted a bit of quiet. Besides, what are you doing here? Huh? You must be joking. Hmm. 
Have you heard the legend of the Goddess Tower? That if you make a pledge, it will be fulfilled? Childish, I know. But if it were true, let's make a pledge to the Goddess. I pledge that someday I will surpass you. I'll surpass your technique, your skill with the sword, and your cunning as a warrior. Then I will make you taste defeat. What a disappointment. If you're looking for a passionate affair, you've got the wrong man. Go find someone else. I've spent my life avoiding love and romance. They're distractions. Blades, blood, and battle. That's what I'm made of and nothing else. If someone saw us, however, this may look like an amorous meeting. You'll have to settle for being mistaken as my lover. It's time I went back to training. I'll always be more comfortable holding a sword than a woman's hand. Try not to catch a cold up here. I'd hate for such a good sparring partner to be out of commission. Goodbye. Evening, Professor. Lovely night, isn't it? Just look at those stars. I heard you were headed over to the Goddess Tower, and I got curious about who you might be meeting. But here you are, all by yourself. This isn't a lover's tryst at all. <laughs> Oh yeah, the Goddess Tower is where lovers meet. Didn't anybody tell you? They say that if you exchange vows here, they always come true. It's a sacred place for lovers. Well, the person I'm interested in is already here. You're here alone, I'm here alone. I was thinking maybe... Well, of course. We're the only two people here, aren't we? I keep thinking about it, and it just makes sense. My crest, and yours? <laughs> okay, true, true. You know, I've never regretted any of my past behavior until you turned me down just now. I can't be who I've been my whole life. I gotta get it together and become a man you can trust. I know that sounds like another one of my games, but it's true. I'll prove it to you. Anyway, I'm going to head back to the ball. Since we're both here, would you accompany me? Well then, my lady, I do hope you'll give me the honor of a dance. It will be good practice for our first dance at our wedding reception. <laughs> I I'm kidding. Anyway, let's get going before you change your mind. What are you doing here? Though I elected to attend this ball, I did not know what to do with myself once there. I do not wish to be a nuisance to His Highness or to my classmates. Thus, I have sought solitude. I noticed a number of people looking for you, however. Should you not return to the festivities? As you wish. The stars seem brighter here, somehow. I have heard that the goddess of Fodland grants a special blessing at this tower. The blessing ensures that any oath sworn between man and woman here shall be fulfilled. That is what I have heard. We had similar legends in Dusker. Some elements of human culture are universal, I suppose. Is there an oath you would like to swear? I am not sure that a full and lasting peace is possible. But while I have this opportunity, permit me to swear an oath to you. I swear that we will look upon these same stars again when His Highness has led us to a more tranquil age. Good. There is a chill in the air, is there not? I am accustomed to cold weather, but you should go back indoors.
I do not know how to dance. If you wish to teach me, then I will endeavor to learn. Let us return. If the cold is too much, I will lend you my coat. Ah, there you are, Professor. I didn't see you at the ball. I was wondering where you'd slipped off to. Everyone is waiting for you. Shouldn't you be heading back? Well, there's no need to hurry. The ball will continue a while longer. Was the noise becoming too much? It must be difficult if you are unaccustomed to high society. I say that, but I'm actually the same. After a while of excitement, I yearn for peace and quiet. Professor, rude! Just what do you think of me? There are definitely students in there making the most of things, flirting as if their very lives depended on it. But for a catch such as myself, every day is an opportunity. There's no need to appear desperate. Still, it's unexpected that the two of us would be here together, isn't it? Do you not know the legend of this place? The goddess is said to grant a special kind of blessing, unique to the day of this ball. It is said that on this day she will honor any vow sworn between man and woman here at this tower. It's a famous legend amongst the students, which may be why I expected to find more of them here. Of course not! I would never stoop to such despicable behavior. Honestly, I forgot all about the legend until now. I'm not interested in that sort of foolishness. Though, I suppose it couldn't hurt to test it, even if it is only a legend. What do you say, Professor? Shall we swear some sort of vow together? Something that will benefit the both of us. What dream should we promise to make a reality? That's very fitting. I will remember that we made this vow here today. Well, I should head back, lest by my absence the festivities lose their luster. <clears throat> Who's there? Uh, pr professor, is the ball over already? What, uh, what are you doing here? Strange noise? No need to worry. I'll, uh, I'll look into it for you. Huh. I suddenly have the energy to dance. Maybe I'll head back to the ball. Ah, you noticed. It was just some meat. It was a much nicer cut than I'm used to. We all got one helping, but some people didn't want theirs. Can you believe it? I hate to see good food go to waste. Ah, I'm sorry, Professor. You're right, I know. Oh, by the way, I heard something on my way here. I heard that if two people make a wish together in this tower, on this night, the goddess will grant it. I don't know the specifics, just that you can't do it alone. There has to be two of you. Since we're both here now, let's make a wish together. What should we wish for? More delicious cuts of meat? No? Then how about bigger muscles? What else is there to wish for? Hmm, me becoming a proper knight? But that's just for me, not you. We can? Professor, that's so generous of you! Now that we wished for it, I'm sure I'll become a proper knight. Professor, you're late. True, but a young man can hope to accidentally bump into someone. I'm glad to find I was right. I hope to find you so I might ask... Well, I would very much like to research your crest. Because it would be terribly interesting? Anyway, have you heard the legend of this place, Professor? 
It's a sentimental one, to be sure. The story goes that if two people share a vow at the Goddess Tower, they'll be bound together forever. Hmm. Or was it that they'll be cursed forever? One or the other, for certain. All the same, I think it's a rather lovely legend. Well, I suppose it does depend on your enjoyment of potentially mistranslated myths. However, let's vow that one day, I will be allowed to research your crest as much as I please. I've overstepped my bounds again, haven't I? It's just that today is such a special day, and, well, I suppose I got caught up in all the excitement. How about this instead? Let's agree to meet here again one day, just the two of us. I look forward to that day. I really do. Professor, did you come up here for a rest too? For me? Oh, I'm so sorry to put you out of your way. I was just kind of worn out from all of the excitement. I am enjoying the ball, but it's a bit much, you know? Everyone else seems used to this kind of thing, but I've never been to anything like it before. My friends did teach me a bit about proper manners and how to dance, but I still feel out of place. Stepping on girls' feet, messing up the pretty floral decorations, <laughs> I've been a bit of a disaster. Sometimes I wonder if it's even right for someone like me to be in a place like this. Really? You do? That's kind of reassuring. By the way, have you heard the stories about the Goddess Tower? They say that if a man and a woman make a wish together here, the Goddess will make it come true. My thoughts exactly. Do you have anything in particular you'd like to wish for? Your wish is? What? My wish? Uh, well, um, let me think. All right, I've got it. I wish for my brother and sister back home to be able to live out their lives in peace. <laughs> this kind of thing is pretty embarrassing, huh? Maybe I should be heading back. I'll never get better at fancy social events like this if I keep running away from them, right? I guess I should ask another girl to dance. Oh, but I'd better make sure I go over the steps again first. Really? You do that? Wow, that'd be great. Just promise not to laugh if I mess it up, okay? Come on, let's head back. Hey, Professor. I was looking all over for you. What are you doing up here? I think... <laughs> Good point. No one follows that rule anyway, and I heard no one from the monastery really cares. Huh. I can't remember her name. It was just some girl who started talking to me last night. She was trying to get me to leave the ball tonight and go to the Goddess Tower with her. She wouldn't say what she wanted to do here, though. Said it was a secret or something. I told her I'd be too busy dancing and stuffing my face with food, so she left. Don't know why, but she didn't seem too happy about it. I guess I was curious, though, so I came to check it out. That's when I saw you walking this way, so I followed you in. Isn't it? She wouldn't explain herself, and she got angry. Huh? Why? Well, it's all over now. Can't change what's in the past. Thanks. I had a feeling you'd get it. Anyway, I'm going to head back to the ball. You coming? Doesn't look like there's anything too exciting going on here. Maybe coming to the tower wasn't a total waste of time. I got to talk to you at least, right? Well, I'm starting to get hungry again. Time to fill up on some more food. Ah! 
Is that you, goddess? Professor! Uh, I'm sorry, I thought you were the goddess. You're right, you're right. Imagine if she just appeared out of nowhere. Do you know of that old legend, Professor? Yes. It's said that if a man and a woman make a vow tonight at the Goddess Tower, she will appear before them and bless them, ensuring that vow's fulfillment. I know. Still, maybe even if we can't see her, we can sense her presence. I envision the Goddess as the most beautiful creature in the world. More beautiful than any landscape, any artwork. Utterly beyond compare. That's what I think, anyway. Or perhaps, what I hope. Since I first heard that legend, I've wanted to try it, and perhaps meet the goddess. Yes, I know what you're getting at. She would never appear before a single person. Frankly, I didn't know any girls well enough to invite them here. So I was hoping a couple would come along, and I could sneak a peek... Wait, that came out wrong. I, I take that back. I have absolutely no intention of peeking. What? You and... me? I suppose we do fit the criteria, but... Are you certain you would want to do that? In that case, let's try it. What should our vow be? Please, pick whatever sounds best to you. Of course. Might be a little ambitious, but let's give it a try. Now... Let us pray. Did you feel that? I think the goddess is near. <laughs> You're right, of course. Ah, oh, here you are. Are you waiting for someone? For me? Well, you should have summoned me earlier. Regardless, here I am. No, nothing in particular. In fact, that's why I came here. This place, the Goddess Tower, it was special to my parents. My father attended the Officer's Academy himself. A few years after graduating, he was crowned Emperor. One day, during a visit to the monastery, he snuck into the Goddess Tower on a nostalgic whim. And there she was, my mother, she had just enrolled in the Academy that very year. They were instantly drawn to each other. Love at first sight, you could say. It was the first time either had truly been in love. Or so the story goes. Yes. Of course, as Emperor, my father had already married for political reasons. As the Empire demands many heirs, he also had numerous other lovers. In the end, my mother settled for becoming one of his many consorts, but I choose to believe there was genuine love between them. <laughs> I suppose it's a silly story to cling to. Isn't it? It's a shame that the lovely stories ended after I was born. For as long as I can remember, my mother had already been exiled from the capital. It's strange. Something about you makes me reveal all of the things I so carefully keep concealed. Anyway, what about you? It's your turn to reveal some long-held secret. You can share a story about your past, or perhaps tell me about your first love. You're telling the truth. I can tell. Hmm. I wasn't even able to make you blush. <laughs> no, I'm the one who should apologize. It wasn't my intention to pry. I'm just intrigued by you and your mysterious past. You have supposedly always been a mercenary, but I believe there's more to your story than that. Let's leave it there for today and return to the ball. There must be plenty of students hoping to talk with you and to dance with you. I would not wish to prevent you from mingling. I cannot keep you all to myself, after all. Thank you.